Tupac Shakur is considered to be one of the greatest rappers of all time. He's amassed over 75 million global sales. Tupac is a symbol of resistance for many people because his music tackled subjects like social issues and activism. So when he was murdered, the world was devastated and still has yet to recover. The official story is, Tupac Shakur was shot four times on September 7th, 1996 by an unknown assailant in Las Vegas. He died six days later on September 13th from his injuries. But there are those who believe that Tupac was not killed as a result of this drive-by and is actually still alive, living out the rest of his life in secret. Could it be possible that one of the most famous rappers to have ever lived is still out there somewhere? Today, Life's Biggest Questions asks, is Tupac alive? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm Charlotte Dobre. If this is your first time here, subscribe and turn on those notifications. And if you've subscribed already, thank you for coming back. We are getting dangerously close to 1 million subs and that's all thanks to you. By the way, if you like this topic, you will love our sister channel Inform Overload where we cover trending news and conspiracy theories. And if you like me, great news! because it's also hosted by me. It's been more than 20 years since Tupac Shakur was pronounced dead. Before he took the car ride that would end up being his last, he told his bodyguard and girlfriend to take a separate car. It was also very unlike Tupac to not be wearing his bulletproof vest, especially since he was at a high profile event right before the shooting, the Mike Tyson fight. One day after Tupac died, he was cremated. The person who cremated him listed Tupac's body as being 6 feet tall and 215 pounds. According to Tupac's driver's license, he was 5'10 and 168 pounds. The cremator who listed his body mysteriously vanished and has never been heard from. During the later years of his life and shortly before he died, Tupac Shakur called himself Machiavelli after the Italian political philosopher and poet Niccolo Machiavelli, who incidentally was famous for supporting the idea of faking your own death. In Machiavelli's The Art of War, Machiavelli advocates for faking your own death to fool your enemies. While Tupac was in jail in 1995, he read Machiavelli's The Prince, a book that was written by Machiavelli after he was released from prison. The theme of The Prince was to give advice to tyrants and others who wanted to gain and maintain power. Tupac had an obsession with the philosopher. It's clear he was very inspired by him, and even his lyrics were evident of that. The lyrics of Hail Mary, for example, say, Machiavelli in this, Caluminati, all through your body, it blows like a 12-gauge shoddy. Tupac's last album, The Don Caluminati, The Seven Day Theory, was released under his new stage name Machiavelli. If you switch around the letters in Machiavelli, it spells the words, I am alive, K. This has been reason enough for some people to believe that Tupac was inspired by Machiavelli's writings to fake his own death to escape his enemies. It also could be possible that Tupac wanted to leave the spotlight. Maybe the Illuminati was after him. Tupac did have many enemies. Dr. Dre, Chino XL, Nas, Sean Combs, Mob Deep, and Jay-Z. The rivalry between East and West Coast gangs and hip hop was likely the reason why Tupac was shot in the first place. There have been several videos and pictures that have surfaced online that conspiracy theorists say are proof that the rapper is still alive. I'll be outlining the most prominent ones now. Suge Knight Sr., who was in the car when Tupac was shot, suggested Tupac might be still alive back in 2017 on Ice-T's investigation show. When Soledad O'Brien called Suge Knight in prison and asked him if he thought Tupac could still be alive, Suge Knight replied, I'm going to tell you that with Pac, you'll never know. In 2014, Suge Knight also stated on camera that Tupac is not dead and is somewhere smoking a Cuban cigar. Six months later, Suge Knight was shot six times in a nightclub attack. Most recently, on October 2nd, 2018, Suge Knight's son, Suge Knight Jr., claimed on Instagram that Tupac is alive and he's hiding in Malaysia. He even posted a video of a man that looks strikingly similar to Tupac but it was discovered that the video was actually from an audition for a Tupac role. There is plenty of so-called evidence that Tupac is still alive. A video of Tupac allegedly alive in Cuba surfaced online in April of 2011. Another video allegedly shows Tupac in Cuba with Suge Knight in 2004. The video is pretty convincing, it's actually pretty high quality for once, but there's no way to tell if the video was actually taken in 2004, which was several years after Tupac died, and it only shows the back of a man's head that looks like Tupac. In April of 2009, TMZ released photos of Tupac at a bar. The title of the article was was Tupac is alive, and it included photos of a man that did look a lot like Tupac. He had a pierced nose, a shaved head, and a goatee. TMZ never confirmed that the man in the photos was Tupac. Tupac has allegedly been seen at a basketball game in 2014, a Lil Wayne concert in 2009, and he was spotted in the background of an Outlaws music video. But before I wrap up this video, I will say that the conspiracy theories about Tupac being alive are still unproven. Claiming that Tupac is still alive makes good TV and gets a lot of clicks. Snoop Dogg, who was a close friend of Tupac Shakur, said Tupac is resting in peace. But well, what do you think? Is Tupac still alive? Let us know in those comments. For now, I'm Charlotte Jobre and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, you will love the playlist that's clickable on the screen right now. And make sure notifications are turned on by clicking the bell so I can see you in a future episode of Life's Biggest Questions.